Ladies and gents, you are once again tuned into your new favorite radio program. Broadcasting at the legendary Natsua. You're listening to the 14th edition of your new favorite radio program. This is Patty's Radio coming to you on HMS Nat Radio and via the Patty's Radio podcast. That I am your host with the most, the top cat, the man that's taking over Earth and still. I am managing to still kick in your anus. We're 14 shows in, baby. My name is Zerel. I also go by Easy Money. Guap. Let me say that again. I also go by Guap. And a whole bunch of others. But that's not important. The important thing I got to tell you is that on this edition of Patty's Radio, we'll be joined by a special guest. A man that has more nicknames than I do. <laughs> Yeah. You've heard his beats on this program before. His name is Mike Brown, but he also goes by Cousin Mike or Primo Miguel in Spanish. I don't I don't, I don't, know what he's going by these days. It's your boy Cousin Mike, if I am top shelf. Cuzzo, tell him what's happening. What's going on, man? Hey, I like how you say radio, all like Spanish and shit. <laughs> well, what's going on, man? Here be with us for the entire program. We're going to talk about his upcoming projects and everything that's going on with his whole name change, whatever the hell he's doing. Make sure you check him out online right now at his website, IamTopShelf.com. Out of New Orleans, Louisiana, that was Young Smash with the song My Name. Right here on the 14th edition of your new favorite radio program, Pat is Radio. It's kind of convenient because it just so happens the producer of that song is also our special guest on this 14th edition of Pat is Radio. Joining us right now is your boy Cousin Mike of I Am Top Shelf. Cuzzo, what's happening? Man, not too much. Man, shout out Young Smash. That's like one of my favorite songs that I've done, for real. Yes, sir. He's in here joining us for the duration of the program. Make sure to check out more from Young Smash right now on SoundCloud. SoundCloud.com slash YS Living. That's SoundCloud.com slash Y-S-L-I-V-I-N-G. And, uh... Now, you were one of the first guests we had on our program, so uh, won't you tell the Patties peeps listening right now on HMS Net Radio and via the Patties Radio Podcast, what the El Capitan, as you like to call yourself, of I Am Top Shelf has been up to since that time? Man, that's a long time. I'm thinking about it, two years, but yeah, man, um, shoot, not too much is going on. Um, last year, I put out a project with... Parallel, which is Scythe and Lou, and I think that might have been what I was working on at that time when we last talked. Um, me and uh, my my homie Byron, who's also a doctor, just released a project called Pure Magic, and it's a it's a hip hop relaxation album. You know, we're trying to I'm trying to go more towards that lane of relaxation music because you know the the feeling I get when I make my music is. It, it really relieves my stress, so I guess whatever I'm putting in the music, I'm trying to exert that into the world. This is Patty's Radio 14, broadcasting from 314 Main in downtown Houston, Texas at Natsua. Uh, we're in here drawn by your boy, Cousin Mike, who you can email at uh, primomiguel at imtopshelf.com. How do you think you've changed since the last time we talked? Like, musically, as a producer, as a CEO, or whatever? What changes have gone into you or anything that you see? Um, I think when I last talked to y'all, I was making music and I was I was feeling what I was doing, but I really didn't know what I was doing, if that makes sense. Like basically what I'm saying is I was kind of making music because it sounded good, but not really realizing Sorry, I, I was putting my, my emotions and everything into the music, you know, because I don't know. I mean, at the time, I wasn't really, I guess I wasn't really in touch with, like, just my feelings and emotions and stuff. So when I approached the keyboard, it was almost like how I am when, when I touched the basketball court. Like, you know, I just leave everything there. And now I'm kind of aware of what I'm doing, just that I really do put my feelings into the shit. So, I mean, I try to, I try to, you know, whatever I got going on during the day, or however my, however I feel at that moment, I try to create that moment. You know, and sometimes I do go back and create shit that I want to create. But, you know, I, I really feel like like a painter. You know, when I'm making music, I really feel like a painter because, you know, I'm I'm giving the canvas and 
you know, setting the scene and, and you know, you really, I feel like you can feel what the fuck I'm putting into it, you know? I listen to my shit and I feel how I feel when I, when I was in that moment. Like, it's almost like looking at an old picture of some shit, you know? I, I listen to this shit and it's like, damn, I was feeling good when I made that shit. Or, damn, I was sad that day. I could just tell. And you can tell just by listening to the shit. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to put all the energy into the music and give people a feeling because... I mean, I don't really feel nothing that's going on. Not to say that people are making, like, bad music and shit, but, I mean, you know, for the most part, that feeling is missing. This is Patty's Radio 14 coming to you on HMS Natal Radio and via the Patty's Radio podcast. We got your boy Mike Brown join us. Make sure you check him out online right now at his website, IamTopShelf.com. That's IamTopShelf.com. We're going to be discussing this upcoming project and all the things going on with your boy Top Shelf Cuzzo on the Twitter. And to get every post of every song that was played on this program this evening, make sure you check us out on Twitter and Instagram right now at Patty's Radio. That's at P-A-T-T-I-E-S Radio. Check out the homepage, paddysradio.tumblr.com. My name is Easy Money, who you can follow on Twitter and Instagram right now at E-A-Z-Y-E-R-E-V. And yes, I may go by Easy E-Rev on the interweb, but I have a lot of names. You can call me Easy Money, Dollar Mania Running Wild all over you. Or hell, if you see me in the streets, just say Gwah. Our special guest on the program also goes by a whole bunch of names. He goes by Primo Miguel, Cousin Mike, or Mike Brown. Either way, he's our special guest on this 14th edition of Patty's Radio. Coming to you right now on HMS Now Radio and via the Patty's Radio Podcast. Besides being a producer of a lot of the beats that you hear in the background on this program, including the one that's playing right now, you also do the other side. You're also an artist. So let me ask you, as far as music goes, um, popular and not so much, can you give your take on what you see and what you hear in popular music? And uh, how is that stuff coming to be? And how do yourself and I am top shelf fit into that? I mean, it's 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 hard to explain, man. Like when I listen to the radio and shit, like the the vast majority of this shit all kind of just sounds the same, like you know. And you know, I'm I'm trying to say the right things without taking away from some of these people's skills because it's a lot of money backing what what's being put out there you know what i mean like you may have somebody that has a great song but if it don't sound like what's going on they may not put no money behind it like it's it's really a business like the music business is a business so you got to understand that and and realize like where you're trying to go with it like yeah if you're trying to i mean if you're trying to get that mainstream fame or whatever like you gotta you gotta play that role you have to be in character 24 7 but i mean if you're really trying to trying to create your own lane and your own world i mean you do what the fuck you want to do <laughs> you know what i mean like it's that simple you do what the fuck you want to do so in your opinion is it motivational or what what is different between yourself and a lot of the artists that you hear is the music just i guess where it is right now because of lack of effort what are some things that you can see that works and what are some things that you see that doesn't and it's probably to the detriment but all the other people that are coming up who are trying to emulate that what do you think i mean honestly i can't really tell you like why the people that make that kind of music are into it because i don't do that you know like i said when it's original it's just gonna go where it's supposed to go like you know i'm gonna give you a perfect example i was in a beat battle in the beginning of the year the vast majority of people that had beats and shit, all they shit sound like fucking all the niggas that sample and shit. And it was because the motherfuckers was watching YouTube videos to learn how to make beats. Like, I didn't watch no YouTube videos. You know, I wasn't taught how to make beats. A nigga set me at the keyboard and just fucking turned it on and just showed me where the sounds was at. And I still, for real, like, I'm gonna keep it real. Just for kids. Like, if a kid is out there listening. But... Everything I learned, like I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like Michael Jordan. You know what I mean? Like the shit is just in me to be cold. <laughs> you know what I mean? If that, like, am I making sense? Like, I'm, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to be real cool about what I'm saying, but at the same time, I'm trying to keep it real with you. Like nobody set me down 
and taught me nothing. You know what I mean? Like of all the people that I know and I've worked with, ain't nobody, Manny Fresh, none of them guys ever set me down and taught me nothing. I taught everything myself. No school taught me this and nothing like school cannot make you like school could teach you technique, but it can't give you that feeling. You know what I mean? This is Patty's Radio 14 coming to you on HMS Now the Radio and via the Patty's Radio Podcast. We're in here joined by a special guest, Cousin Mike, who you can follow on Twitter right now, at Top Shelf Cuzzo. That's at T-O-P-S-H-E-L-F-C-U-Z-O. Uh, you spoke about Parallel. We're about to get into music that you produced by Parallel and Mary Go. Uh, how did you link up with those cats? And just uh, let the Patterns peeps know what went into making this exclusive track that they're about to hear on this program. Um, It's probably one of my favorite songs because... I made that beat the day I met Pharrell. And me and Syph started kind of like at the same time. Syph put out his first mixtape. I was just starting out making beats. And I had a song on there. And the shit was tight. And I've had a song on almost every project that Syph has done. So, you know, we just kind of have that rapport of working together. I've, I've known them dudes for a little while now. So I kind of have an idea of their style we like similar music we in the similar shit you know like when you know when i was on my kick shit they was on their kicks and shit we was all doing party promotions and shit so i mean we we have a lot of history so it's easy to work with them like i don't even have to put much thought into it and i don't think they really have to put much thought into working with me i think we just have fun and just make songs so well, let's get into this exclusive track from the group parallel featuring mary go and since we just so happened to be joined by the producer of that track, Mike Brown, I'll let you take it away. Go ahead, cuz All right, this is uh, Good Morning by Parallel featuring Mary Go. And it's on right now on this 14th edition of Patters Radio. Right after we get this album recorded, gonna do some damage. Learned our lesson from past business partners. This game is shady. Shit's serious. Don't fuck with my money. Don't try to play me. Enjoying my life from 30,000 feet. That's when I see clear. Surviving the crash that almost took my life. I'm meant to be here. Drinking a lot. Might suffer when I'm old. That's what some might say. Gotta suffer from syndrome of showing niggas the right way. Not a goal is to play a show with more covers than live aid. We at the chorus, so I wanna hear the crowd say. Here's a story that you want in Galone. Kids from New Orleans who got caught in Galone. Chasing our dreams and making this shit come out, man. No more stunts, my nigga, this real action. Here's a story that you want in Galone. Kids from New Orleans who got caught in Galone. Chasing our dreams and making this shit come out, man. No more stunts, my nigga, this real action. Dollar sign, dollar sign is what they see in. I tell her that I rap and now she thinks she got a beans. They see your nigga smile and they think it's so goody. But bitch, I'm from the hood and I'm raw like pussy. Me and Lou spending money like it's loose leaf. They dye it green, then we spending on these two streets. We independent, my nigga, don't get it twisted. This lavish life that we live in, we do it because it's given. Take a trip to escape the pain. And come back to pain, putting in that major work, trying to see a major game. Imaginary players couldn't do this shit the same. They got the fluid, but ain't got the flame. They got the shine, but without the grind. My bad bitch named Caroline. I mean Caroline. She about to graduate a classy bitch. I make her wash my dirty money, buy some classy shit. Yow! Here's a story that you want in Galone. Two kids from New Orleans who got caught in Galone. 
chasing our dreams and making this shit happen. No more stunts, my nigga, this real action. Here's a story that you wouldn't even know. Two kids from New Orleans who got caught in between. Chasing our dreams and making this shit happen. No more stunts, my nigga, this real action. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to Patters Radio with the money man, myself, Easy Money, and our special guest, Cousin Mike of I Am Top Shelf. Right here on HMS Net Radio and via the Patters Radio podcast. We're broadcasting from 314 Main in downtown Houston, Texas. Last song you heard on this program was brought to you by one of our original Patters peeps out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, going by the name of Theo Brown Music. That song was called Phoenix. Make sure to check out more from that band online at theobrownmusic.com. T H E O B R O W N music.com. All right, ladies and gents, and uh, as a little side note, what do Theo Brown Music, Mike Brown, and your boy Guap have in common? Well, it just so happens we were all classmates at uh, Xavier University of Louisiana back in the G. And look at us now. We're being joined by your boy Cousin Mike on the hottest internet radio program that you're currently listening to, I guess. This is Pat is Radio 14. We're all over your social media. On Twitter and Instagram, at Pat is Radio. It's at P-A-T-T-I-A-S Radio. We're on Tumblr, pattysradio.tumblr.com. We do this podcast thing every week at our podcast site, pattysradio.podomatic.com. We're here catching up with your boy, Cousin Mike. Now, he was one of our original Pat is Peeps. One of the first guests that we had on our program. And I guess since then, I want to ask you, like, what approach do you have? Like, what's your mentality? I feel like I'm still putting the same technique into what I'm doing. Like, you know, I'm I'm still making music off emotion, but I am getting a little more skilled at it because um, I'm just working at it. So I'm getting better. But nah, man, I, like, I don't hold what I'm doing higher than what I was doing before because it all is a representation of where I was at when I made it. You know what I mean? Like, I could listen to certain songs that I've made and I could tell you exactly just what my mindset was. And to me, that's cool. So everything, I mean, they all my kids. You know what I mean? Like, I claim all my kids, the good ones and the bad ones. So when it's real, you feel it. You know what I mean? Like, I can't fuck with people that, that come with that, you know, uh, I need a song for the radio, I need a song for this, a song for that, because I don't know what that means. Like, it's on you as the artist to create that that situation, you know what I mean? I mean, when I listen to J50 Weezy, J50 Weezy, that's the song that I did with D1. And when we did the song, I just sent him the beat, and he did something to it, and it came out perfect, the concept, everything was great. And, you know, like, we just did it. And it went where it was supposed to go. You know what I mean? Like, nobody controlled that or nothing. Like, it went where it was supposed to go. And it did what it was supposed to do because it was that good of a song. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't go into that beat thinking this beat is going to be for the radio. I don't know if he went into the song thinking that this song is going to be for the radio. I think he just made the song. And I think that was just, just magic, you know? Like, I fucking gave him the canvas and he painted the picture. And that's really how it seems to be done. This is Patty's Radio 14 coming to you on HMS Not a Radio and via the Patty's Radio Podcast. We're in here joined by a special guest, Cousin Mike, who you can follow on Twitter right now, at Top Shelf Cuzzo. Just like the money man, me, the host of Patty's Radio. I'm talking about myself, the money man, Guap Dollars, Dollar Mania running wild all over you, Slop Top, Guap. Who you can follow on Twitter and Instagram right now, at E-A-Z-Y-E-R-E-V. We're broadcasting from 314 Main in downtown Houston, Texas. We're still in here joined by Cousin Mike of I Am Top Shelf. We got your last song of the evening coming up in a second, but uh, before we got here, we want to find out everything that's going on with your boy Cousin Mike. Um, like I said, I know you wear a lot of hats besides being the El Capitan of I Am Top Shelf. You're also into art and other projects, so let the Patterns peeps know everything that you're getting into and uh, what to expect from Cousin Mike right now and going forward into 2015. I'm working on a project with uh, James Woods, yoga instructor, that yoga dude. It's called Feel Free to Feel Free. It's gonna be another relaxation project that 
will also go with the flow of one of his yoga classes and hopefully you know we can we can do something as far as like shooting that and maybe putting it out online or whatever but the project is called feel free to feel free because that's what we want people to do feel free and it doesn't and it doesn't cost anything to feel free because a lot of people not really free out here you know what i mean mental slaves what else yeah me and nuck in uk we're working on some stuff and uh we got some really good songs and i'm not just saying that because we got good songs but we got some really good stuff like just sitting in the vault like i'm just it's really on me you know it seems like people are interested in what i'm doing so i'm trying to be more active online and shit and um yeah that's pretty much it taking over the world one one computer at a time one person at a time yeah and that's really about it if we've reached the end of this 14th edition of your new favorite radio program pat is radio all right so before we let mike brown out of here i want to ask you you got any shout outs anybody you want to talk to or holler at go ahead cuz oh the floor is yours yeah make sure you check out iamtopshelf.com because i'm gonna be getting off instagram and twitter and all that stuff pretty soon and that'll be just my place to like update and shit so if you really want to know what's going on musically and all that shit oh my soundcloud um i'm trying to stay up to date on that stuff too um shout out top shelf and shout out everybody living it and um yeah thank you guys for having me yes sir we want to thank cousin mike aka mike brown aka primo miguel of i am top shelf for joining us on this 14th edition of your new favorite radio program pat is radio as I said, I'm your host, E. Rev, and it's been a pleasure to bring you some of today's most underrated, unheard, and soon-to-be most talked about names in music. Broadcasting from 314 Main in downtown Houston, Texas, at the legendary Natsua.